guys, it's Sophia. Today I'm going to be doing a beauty product, W-O, which stands for which one. So basically, you just have two beauty products and choose which one is more preferable or just which one you think is better. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna be doing is comparing razors. So this one is really cute. I love the designs, but it has a really thick handle. And this one, it's, it's really squishy, but it's thinner. So because I have smaller hands and my fingers are really thin, I would prefer this one because it's not as hard to like use. Um, but other people might think that this one's better. Number one, because it's a lot cuter. And number two, they might just have like having a secure bigger handle. So this one is really up to you. Okay, the next thing is cutting fingernails, toenails, or literally stuff like that. Um, I would really prefer this type of cutter because it just it just like does it the job better for me and it's easier than having to use a pair of scissors and making sure everything is like in line. Meanwhile, if you just do this, it's already perfectly in line because the way you cut it off. Uh, this is a acne like cream watery thing and it's really good. I would definitely recommend you getting this. It's just try to get it in the plastic first in the sorry in the glass version. This is plastic. Um and I'm not saying that plastic is horrible, it's just glass is more fresher. So this one's the glass one and I know it really like literally looks the same, but in glass it's just it's just more like, you know what I mean? It's just better. Like, same as food. If you have Nutella in a, plas in a glass jar, it's just gonna be more fresh. I have this a lot when you don't know to get the bigger jar of something or the smaller. Okay, so it matters. If you're going to use this product every day, then you should probably get the bigger one. If you're not gonna use it every day, um, and so you should definitely get the smaller one plus you can go back for more so it just matters how much you're going to use it for example these are like different sizes of eye drops so when you're washing your face you have well I am have these things that I put in my hair so my face doesn't get like my hair doesn't get wet from all the water that I'm splashing on my face now these are two types of materials you could see the difference a little this one is just just like regular fabric um it's just it's like it's not i mean yeah it's stretchy it's just it's a little dull material and this one is more fuzzy uh this probably it will like it won't be as bad with water as if you get this one wet then it might be wet for a long time but this one will dry easier but just me, I like this one better because it sits better on my head and also it feels more comfier. And these are Too Faced Blush. I love Too Faced. You should definitely, if you want to get your makeup there, definitely go there because it has great makeup and a lot of their products are natural. So that's really good. Uh, different colors. This is hard. This happens to me a lot. But uh, I like this one more. I know it's a little bit more flashy. So you can use both of them at different times. If you don't want to be as flashy, then you can use this one, which is more of a calmer color. So they're both good at different times. As you can see, this one is a lot prettier than this just regular orange one. But when you get tweezers, you want to make sure that they're sharp so it takes the hair off like easier and it would stop just much of the struggle. Yes, sometimes it hurts, but you can't really do anything about that. So um, if they're both sharp, then Go for the cuter one. Bing. I have two types of mascara. This one is really dull and it does not work. Don't get it. Get this one. Simple. Just do it. There is wet blush and just powdery blush. I like powdery blush better because when I put wet blush on my cheeks, it feels a little sticky. So uh, I think that you should use powdery blush. Wet blush is okay. I mean, some people might like that better, but for me, I just like powdery blush. A scrunchie and a hair tie. I love both because if I'm doing like a really pretty design on my hair and I wanna show it, I'd use a regular hair tie. But if I'm making like a ponytail and I'm too lazy to do, make a whole big thing, I just use a scrunchie. So you can like use both for different times. I like to use both of them for different times. If I am just putting on foundation 
or a bronzer, I'd use my bigger brush. If I'm putting on blush, it matters. Sometimes I do the little, use the little one, and sometimes I use, I use the long one. But for me, this brush is a little bit too long. I'd like it to be around here. It just, I just feel more comfortable with it because if I'm holding it like down here. Oh yeah, never hold your brush down here because or else you can lose control and it could wiggle all over. So you want to have a good grip on it. So hold it closer to the edge so it doesn't wiggle that much. So anyway, you can basically use both for whenever you want. Um, and you should also have different brushes for every type of makeup you have. Your blush brush should be a different brush than your foundation and your bronzer. I mean, I guess you can use your foundation and bronzer brush the same. It just matters. If you have a liquid product, then you want to use a different um, brush from a powdery product. So just make sure you have a lot of brushes so you know when to use them.